Welcome to our new video. This video subject is one of the most important projects in Turkish aerospace, MUSE. Means as unmanned fighter aircraft vehicle. The company Baika started this project on their own resources and planned the first flight of MUSE in 2023. Till this day, every UAV produced was tasked with spying and air to ground missions. However, now the Turkey's most upgraded UAV being Akanji is capable of carrying air-to-air -air missiles. Also there is ASA radar being upgraded for it. But Akanji haven't been designed for a dogfight. The reason why it is carrying air-to-air -air missiles is to hit targets like other UAVs, small helicopters and some other missiles. By completing the MUSE project, Turkey will be able to engage most of the air-to-air -air missions using UAVs. Plus, MUSE will be able to be put on aircraft carriers. This means it will be the first time a fighter UAV is being put to use on aircraft carriers. American MQ-25 will be on carriers too, but MQ-25 isn't a fighter UAV. It is a refueling UAV system, which we have explained all about in our channel. So, if you're interested to know more about MQ-25, please give it a look. In the Muse pictures released by the Baika company as prototypes, we can see that Muse is very different from the turbofan UAVs. When compared to other UAVs, we could say that the look is very similar to the one of Boeing UAVs, the loyal wingman. By looking at the design, we can see that Muse will have stealth capabilities. Also, considering the size, being small will make it even harder to be seen on radars. It will be able to carry supplies and missiles on the knees and on the wings. The tails at the backside and cannons on the front will make it even more maneuverable. In general, Muse have a hunter design. Also, it is perfect for deep strike missions. So, how is Muse capable of a dogfight? Will it be controlled by a pilot on the ground, or it'll be an AI-controlled UAV? In the last Baikars project, Akinju, there were six AI systems put to use, and now all the experiences obtained from Akinju missions will make AI systems become better when put to use on Muse. So, we expect that Muse will be all AI-controlled and will make decision based on which maneuver is better in the dogfight. There isn't enough info on Muse avionics, but the use of ASA radar is definite. Turkey is upgrading its F-16s with ASA radar systems and plan to finish by 2022. Maybe the same radar will be used on Muse too. Muse will be able to join in with coordinated other fighter planes the same system as Loyal Wingman. It also could be piloted by other fighter pilots. Also, about the specifications about Muse, published by Biker Company. Carrying ability of this fighter UAV is 1.5 tons, and the first prototypes are supposed to fly lower than sound barrier, but the upgraded prototypes will break sound barrier. The fighter UAV will be able to take off carriers with jumpers help, just like Russian fighters. It isn't like most of the UAVs, they do not have back end tails or front cannons. By these, Muse will be able to perform intense maneuvers and get in a dogfight with other fighters. The average flight time, including useful gear, weigh is about 5 hours and have a range of 3000 kilometers. Flight height is about 40,000 feet, but that's not certain and changeable. So by subscribing and turning on the notification, stay tuned with us. If there to be any updates on the matter, a video will be made.